National Family Health Survey 2015 and 16. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare released recently the results from the first phase of the National Family Health Survey 2015 and 16. The 2015-16 National Family Health Survey has been conducted after a gap of 10 years. The last survey was conducted in 2005 and 6. National Family Health Survey collects basically the data in each of India's 29 states and all seven union territories. It provides the estimates of most basic indicators of health at the district level for all 640 districts of the country. The results of the survey are now available on the ministry's website as well. The findings of the 13 states of Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Goa, Haryana, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Meghalaya, Sikkim, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Tripura, Uttarakhand, West Bengal and two union territories of Andaman and Nicobar Islands and also Puducherry show a promising improvements in maternal and child health and nutrition. Now let us see the highlights of the results of the survey in various health indicators the first and the most important highlight of the survey is that there has been a less infant deaths the results from the national family health survey have indicated that the fewer children are dying now in infancy and early childhood one most important indicator is the infant mortality which has declined in all the states and union territories for which the trend data is available all 15 states and union territories have rates much below 51 deaths per 1000 live births but there is a considerable variation though among the states and the union territories For example, infant mortality rates range from low of 10 in Andaman and Nicobar Islands to very high figure of 51 deaths per 1000 live births in states like Madhya Pradesh. There has been a better care for women during pregnancy and childbirth and it has contributed to the reduction of maternal deaths and improved child survival. Almost all mothers have received antenatal care for their most recent pregnancy and there is an increasing number of women who are receiving the recommended four or more visits by the service providers that is doctors and nurses more and more women are now giving birth in health care facilities this fact has more than doubled in some of the states in the last decade More than 9 in 10 births took place in healthcare facilities in Andaman, Nicobar Islands, Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Karnataka, Puducherry, Sikkim, Tamil Nadu and Telangana which provided a safer environment for mothers and newborns. Another important health indicator is the lower fertility rates. Overall, women are having a fewer children now. The total fertility rates are the average number of children per woman range from 1.2 in Sikkim to 3.4 in Bihar. All states except Bihar, Madhya Pradesh and Meghalaya have either achieved or maintained replacement levels of fertility. It is a major achievement in the past decade. Further, there has been an increase in immunization rates. Full immunization coverage among children aged of 12 to 23 months varies widely in the states and union territories but at least 6 out of the 10 children have received a full immunization in 12 of the 15 states and union territories In Goa West Bengal and Sikkim and Puducherry more than 4/5 of the children have been fully immunized Since the last round of national family survey the coverage of full immunization among the children has increased substantially in the states of Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Goa, Sikkim, West Bengal and Meghalaya. As regards family planning methods 
It is found that the married women are less likely to be using modern family planning in the states and union territories. There has been an increase in the use of modern family planning methods only in the states of Meghalaya, Haryana and West Bengal. This decline is highest in Goa and followed by Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Despite this decline in the family planning adoption methods, about half or more married women are using a modern family planning in 8 of the 15 states in the union territories. About the improved nutrition conditions. Poor nutrition is less common now as compared to the reported figures in the last round of National Family Health Survey. Now, much fewer children under 5 years of age are now found to be stunted as compared to the last survey. It shows the intake of improved nutrition. It is found that in Bihar and Madhya Pradesh and Meghalaya, more than 40% of children are stunted. Wasting is still very high by international standards in all the states and the union territories. Anemia has also declined but still remains a widespread and more than half the children are supposed to be anemic in 10 of the 15 states and union territories. Similarly, more than half of the women are anemic in 11 states and union territories. But overnutrition, however, continues to be a health issue for adults. At least 3 in 10 women are reported to be overweight or obese in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Andhra Pradesh and Goa, Puducherry and Tamil Nadu. Improved water and sanitation facility is an important issue. Indian families are now more inclined to use the improved water and sanitation facilities. Over two-thirds of the households in every state in the United Territory have access to improved source of drinking water and more than 90% of households have access to an improved source of drinking water in 9 out of 15 states and inland territories. More than 50% of households have access to improved sanitation facilities but for Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. Use of clean cooking fuel reduces the risk of respiratory illnesses and pollution but this factor varies widely among the states in the Union territories. For example, it ranges only about 18% of households in Bihar to more than 70% households in Tamil Nadu and more than 80% households in Puducherry and Goa. These states have much better cooking fuel facilities in their households. Now, somewhat connected with the activities of the Health Ministry is the proposal that is being made to establish two national centers for aging. The Government of India has approved establishment of two national centers of aging, one each at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, and another at Madras Medical College, Chennai. That will be done during the 12th fire plan period. Both the national centers of aging are expected to be centers of excellence in the field of geriatric care in the country. The functions of the national centers will be health care delivery, training of health professionals and research activities along with 200 bedded inpatient services.